first I'm going to initialize the project go mod init gitlab that count slash pragmatic reviews slash colang shin poc and I'm going to install the shin library go get and this is github.com shingonic gonic slash shin okay and let's start by creating a new file I'm going to call it server.go the package is going to be main and I'm going to create a main function and here I'm going to initialize a new server using the shin library so it's going to be equals to shin.default this is the default server like this and if we go here we're going to see that this server is going to include by default a couple of middlewares in this case we have a logger that is going to output information about the requests we're going to see that in a second and then we go back we have this recovery function that is going to recover from any panics and it's going to write the 500 HTTP code if we get any panic condition so I'm going to close this and I'm going to keep working on the server and let's create our first endpoint so let's create a get endpoint server that get let's call it test and let's create an anonymous function and here we need to pass the context there is a special struct in Shin that is the context so we can specify it like this ctx and a reference to Shin.context like this and the context includes the HTTP request a writer that is going to be the HTTP response at the end and a bunch of other attributes let's go back and here we need to include the body of this function we're going to return a JSON ctx JSON the HTTP code is going to be the first parameter in this case it's going to be 200 and here we can return the body of the response shin.h and here this is an struct and here we can pass the json object this is going to be message and the value is going to be okay let's run this go run server.go and yeah before running it i forgot to initialize the server this is going to be server that run and we need to pass the port that is going to be 88 in this case let's say okay now i can run the server yeah, i forgot to add the comma here that was the issue okay now let's run it and as we can see here the server is going to output some debugging text in this case it's saying that if we we can use these two ways to change from the debug mode that is the current mode or the default mode when we start the server and doing this we can switch from debug to production mode and basically saying that is listening on port 8080 and that this is the only endpoint available for this http verb and this is the uri okay let's go to postman and let's run the first request and the port is 8080 actually let's try this and we get a response and here we get a, a pretty nice output including the response time here we have the verb and here we have the uri